got a goal in the Open Cup as well to take his tally to three. Oh! Ball gets by and it is through! Are you kidding me? We knew the wind would play tricks with the ball, but did not imagine anything like that. Has this huge statistic of 250 saves coming up, and that was one. He's going to have to hang his head in shame. Just a little bit of a jump. His body was nowhere near the ball, Drew. Declan Wynn centers it now. Traeger, look out. Here's the shot. It gets by Sparrow, and it's through. So the Charleston Battery have pulled level here in the 50th minute. It's 1-1. One, one. He fought right down the center. Markinich to Augustine Williams, and just gets it through the wickets of Connor Sparrow. Here's Charlie Dennis, little flick. Nobody to receive it. Battery trying to counter Charleston. Augie Williams, the shot, score! Unbelievable! The battery will win it here at Outlank tonight. Look at this counter attack with the Rowdies pushing all the way up. He's onside because he's in his own half. And look at the finish through, just bends it around Connor Sparrow like a pylon. And here is Leyland Archer as the battery keep possession of the football here. Threaded down here to Markinich now. The ball with Dodson. Dodson up from right back, and there's an early goal. Dodson came up from right back, fed the ball in, and there was Nick Markinich. And with barely four minutes gone, the away side have the lead. It's FC Tulsa nil, Charleston Battery one. An excellent ball and a good run across across the goal. Yeah, you they can, can see it here. Good movement by the right back. Um, yeah, picks out the runner coming across. Similar to the header he had to draw the game level 2-2 versus El Paso just a, a few days ago. Here's Yosef. Good ball Great in. Ball Epps in. with a chance. What a goal. What a goal. <laughs> Milo Yosef with the assist. Marcus Epps drops up in the area. One touch, bang, scores. 14th minute, FC Tulsa won. Charleston Battery won. And then in the final third, and then you'll see this good little movement, good ball by DaCosta. Yeah, and an excellent finish. Great combination down the left side. Maintain it into the box, ball, ball loose. Oh, and Levi's did well, and he's given it away. Chance here, shot, goal. And that is a tremendous left-footed shot from Polvara. Levi's just losing the ball there. And with five minutes gone in the second half, it's FC Tulsa one, Charleston Battery two. Yeah, you can see it coming up here. Tried to dribble out of that pressure, maybe rather than play out. And over the top to Elmedkar, Spangenberg out to meet it. Still with Elmedkar, he beat the keeper, centers it, Ryan pushed it wide, completely flubbed it. Santos now at the back post, leg it! It was building, knocking on the door, they kick it down and it's 1-0 Loudon. Elmedkar does a great job of reading the flight of it and understanding on this turf it's gonna hold up. Santos, decisive, picks his head up, one touch to collect himself, realizes there's a number advantage at the back post, and this is an impeccable service. Leggett resets, reads the flight of the ball from Santos, gets up and over it. A feather in the cap of the league once the number eventually perhaps comes out on what he was moved for, but in the meantime, killing it with Louisville, and next week perhaps taking the field against Mexico. Another chance here for El Medcar! Tune in Loudon! Khalil El Medkar, active all half long, missed a couple of chances early, doesn't miss this one. And it's the driving run, gets to the wrong side of Asiadu, and once he gets in the box, Asiadu has to let him go. El Medkar still with a lot of work to do, a lot of... 
chaotic would be better for a team that's down. They want chances to go. Here's Loudon on the break. Zach Ryan can make it three. Has three goals already this season. Looking for some help cutting in. Ryan off the post and in. His fourth goal in three games. And Loudon is ahead by three. Goals to the good. And Zach Ryan, patient, probing. Just waiting for the moment. And it's unfortunate for Kavita. As he stretches to block the shot, it goes off the inside of his calf, off the inside of the... Cross from the right. Picked up here, Biasi. Look, Biasi and line. Cross it, it's chested in! Albert Dequa guiding it in. At the near post, off the chest, and a wonderful buildup as the setup comes from Luke Biasi. And as you can see, Dequa changing his run. As soon as he beats the defender, he's just trying to get any part of his body onto the ball. And, I'm for, and for lucky for him, it hits his chest and goes into the back. What a finish by Dequa. It's a tough finish because you don't know where it's going. You're making the run, and the ball's just coming right at you. It's an unbelievable finish, good goal. Pittsburgh finishing the opportunity. It'll be interesting to see how RGV reacts to this. But great goal by Dequa. Brave header there to keep that alive. Forbes goes short, Ibarra. Trying to clip it towards the corner. Hard challenge, edge of the box. Referee says play on and Pittsburgh will. There's a header and it's in and it might be an own goal. It's either Forbes' goal or off the head of Lahab Akwe. At any rate, it's 2-0 Pittsburgh. I think it's a Forbes goal. Great cross, great little flick header. Goal's a goal, and what I say, when you score one, you get the confidence, you got two. That next goal was huge. Pittsburgh took the opportunity, and now it's gonna be hard for RGB to come back into this game. Tellefsen out wide, Dia. Musha Galusa, more probing from Lou City. Good ball in for Harris, oh my word! It's a stunning header! Wilson Harris lights up Louisville with a beautiful, beautiful headed goal. And the challengers lead the champions. Man, oh man, what a beautiful goal, a beautiful feed from the left side, Musha Galusa, and what a finish. My goodness, a lot of quality from Harris that time. Look at the way he turns, the ball's coming in. Man, what a goal, and if you score a goal against Jordan Farr. I love the fact they're playing for the Kings Cup too. That's just, that's a, that, that adds a little bit of spice, a little bit of fun uh, to things. Both teams, you know, and both cities obviously so intimately involved uh, with Elvis. There is a, oh, what a freak goal that was. Las Vegas on the score sheet with one of the most insane goals you will ever see. Yeah. From the basically midfield, the ball is deflected. Can this be the equalizer? To the back post, wide open, yeah. back of the net. Brilliant goal, brilliant header, fantastic ball in the box. Brilliant football from 901. Jeremy Kelly. Ties it up at one. Ties it in. And this game is tied. Put it right where it needed to be. Deals well with the press from Carlton and earns himself a right to play with the ball to Malloy, who switches it quickly over. Kiss you do in tons of space. Attacks his man, left foot. And yes. it's a first time shot and Very a goal. Cool. <clears throat> Fantastic football again. Luis Fernando. 2-1! Him down the, the left side with Kisidu and Akeem Ward. Lovely little play in the box and a fantastic. Vegas. Back heel. First opportunity, maybe. The ball is going to go into the net! What a strike! Out of absolutely nothing! The equalizer! Ledesma! My goodness! A left foot curling off the post. 
and into the, there's absolutely nothing Hamid could do about that. Chris, that run caught me off guard. I'm pretty sure caught the defenders off guard as well. You don't typically see Sam Hamilton getting forward in positions like that. Here's Amando Moreno putting one in, looking back post. Mo Arn, it's saved again. The rebound hammered home by the captain, and New Mexico take the lead in the ninth minute. Sam Hamilton opens it up. And it's that freedom that Justin Portillo gives Sam Hamilton to be a little more adventurous with his runs. Breaking from deep, caught San Diego Loyal completely off guard. It's a Fiesta Auto free kick. Martin standing over it alongside Adams. And that's going to be the equalizer for San Diego. In first half stoppage time, they scored in first half stoppage here last season at the lab, and the equalizer comes once again. And you can see what Oakland's trying to do, get in the midfield space, get on the ball, turn and try to find Formella or Lefeca making that run in with Rodriguez showing to the ball. The point we made earlier, Tavaramo said it was an easy scout. Played through here, Popado has options in front. It's settled there for Sadie, and he pounces on it. His fourth of the season, Hartford strikes first. I'm not sure if Hopeno picks out the right run. He could have found Prince there, but Prince is in the right spot at the right time. And when you're scoring goals, the ball's going to find you. When you have that confidence, the ball's going to find you. And that's what goals bring. Goals bring confidence. They bring energy. And you can just see Hartford on the front foot. Once again, it's Cedeno still with it. Ball Velcro to his foot. Cedeno! Two in a matter of a couple of minutes. First of the season for Jesse Cedeno. Deserved, I thought. As you can see here, takes on two defenders. Great quick finish, catches the goalie off guard, and that's what you want. You want to get that quick finish because the keeper's not even set, as you can see. Doesn't even have time to react with that left footed finish. Great goal and a great finish. 2 0 Hartford. Merle Sanchez come up big in goal for Hartford Athletic. Made one big stop in the first half. Formella just waiting for the whistle. There it is. Formella against Sanchez. Derek Formella tucks it away. Oakland has life here in the 74th minute. PK by the veteran forward. And now, this is what we were talking about. Can Oakland get that chance? Can they get that goal? And what do we say? They He's taken one and scored one. It was Monarchs against some rando goalkeeper. I, I literally Alex Rando from <laughs> Las Vegas. Olaski to put Orange County ahead. Olaski signed, sealed, delivered. OCSC lead. This is the man that you want to step up to take it. It's such a difficult technique to perfect. The stutter step as he jumps up, sees the goal one way. Cool, calm, collected. Milan Olaski to get his 30 goal on the year. Orange County 1-0 in this first half. Five goals this season, which leads the league for Alex Dixon. Can he give Monterey Bay the advantage here in Phoenix? Alex Dixon scores right down the middle to silence the Phoenix crowd and to give Monterey Bay the lead just past the hour mark. Alex Dixon steps up and delivers it right down the middle. Wonderful delivery in. Lambert out jumps right. And it's a battle that Lambert wins emphatically. Heads it down so it makes it even more difficult for Herrera to react. Got to break that first line and they don't have an out and out striker. Sacramento Russell Cicerone's in that spot furthest up the field. And we see Tommy Villadar breaking down the left. So good, 1v1, curling this ball in, this ball, Russell Cicerone! Number five, oh, in his career! He appears in spots when you don't expect him. He makes good that time, another rebound goal for the Sacramento Republic, and it's all net for number 11. Congratulations on number 5-0 -oh for Russell Cicerone. Tommy Villadero on the left-hand side. He gets a great run by Luis Felipe, which drags the defender away and puts the ball in a dangerous area. Herrera will be disappointed he doesn't deal with it, and Cicerone almost sliced the finish into the back of the net.
Abger has it on the right side. Kecko thought about going a little 1v1 there and decides to maybe hold possession instead. Roro's got some space. Dump it off to Gurr. A little give and go here. Cross comes in. Cicerone. Dami Viedere. Oh, yeah. The Republic keep on making runs to the box. And Mark Briggs says good things happen when we get there. And guess what? They got two goals tonight on just effort plays alone. Republic. Players making runs in the box. Great combination. Jack Gurr, Rodrigo Lopez on the right-hand side. Dangerous ball in. Cicerone almost gets it with a flick. <laughs> you have numbers in the box. Viader can, doesn't get it right first time. Puts it away with his right foot. 2-0 Republic. Flying once again here at Heart Health Park. Two denied against Colorado Springs, who's directly behind you in the standing. So Sacramento playing some top teams already in this early part of the season. Gurr slipping through. He's got Cicerone to his left. Finding Russell. Here's through to Luis Felipe. Pure brilliance from Sacramento Republic. The buildup was textbook. And they put it away. The game's third goal in the half. And it's all Sacramento. And that's Luis Felipe's number three on the year. And three now. The combination as well, Jack Gurr. He just got so many numbers in the box, but Cicerone, brilliant. Villadere's in a good spot. Luis Felipe, Cooley slots in the back of the net. I believe, unless I've lost count. It's Williams right off the back of Archibald. Look at this. It's a battle. Oh, Archibald breaking free. Archibald, yes! <laughs> oh, what an effort! He deserved every bit of that goal there, and his whole team is coming to celebrate. And Great just, you know what, we talked about it. I love the shot attempt he made earlier, and he's battling with one of the key veterans from many championship teams, and he just puts it right through. And Speedy Ar it looked like Speedy Archimed there instead, <laughs> right? <laughs> Flying down the pitch. And that takes a lot of composure.